Hello everybody, it's Brie. This is my first workout since the quarantine began. I called my trainer, Jason Walsh, who perhaps you've, you've seen either in fancy profile videos of him that exist on YouTube or through videos that came out when I was promoting Captain Marvel showing the training that we did. It's his Jeep that I pushed up the hill, if you saw that. I think normalizing and vocalizing where we're at, no matter what that is, whether that's talking about food poisoning or talking about menstruating, like wherever you're at, being able to um, state who that is to your friend, to your trainer, and just say like, this is my baseline right now, and recognizing that every day is gonna be different, and every point in the day could be different. So with all of that said, um, <laughs> I tried to do, something easy and I was like Jason why don't we just do like a 10 minute workout video like we all just want to work out for 10 minutes really right and um it was not 10 minutes long I would call this the tale of the 10 minute long workout that was actually an hour and a half <laughs> if this was the title and a chapter in my life I put together a workout based on the fact that I haven't seen you in months. I knew that you haven't probably, you probably haven't worked out in months. And I love, see, I gave you cookies during our workout. Yeah, now I gave myself and cookies. So what we're gonna do is, this is just a reintroduction. I want to wake the body up. We're gonna go through uh, movements. We're gonna exploit these movements and slow the tempo down. You don't need weights. We're gonna move through these exercises pretty quickly. We're gonna, we're gonna warm up with movement preparation. We're gonna do some stuff for the hips. And we're gonna get into a, a flow. The idea is to keep yourself off the ground. So, you know, I, I wanna keep your um, your body in uh, in tension, right? So we just wanna keep a constant tension. So no matter what we're doing, we, try to, we wanna keep moving around. So we're gonna innervate the muscles. We're gonna turn them back on. We're gonna go through these movements. We're gonna start reestablishing circulation and nervous patterns and all that good stuff. And that's I it. feel very nervous system right now. Yeah, and it's um, and your your heart rate's gonna get up a little bit. You're gonna sweat, uh, heat the body up. Um, you know, okay. it's all good. Yeah. Okay. Um. So just checking in. I'm feeling the cookie that I just ate. <laughs> um. I I did start my period which was poor timing to shoot this let video. Ask, let me ask, can I ask you a question? Yep. The period, how does it affect your workouts? Can we, can we check back in afterwards uh, and remind me, you remind me to ask you about your period and then see if it actually, I wanna know if it helps. <clears throat> For sure. At all. I'm, you know I love to talk about my period, so I, I, I will remind you, I will remind you. When thinking about my intention for this workout, <sighs> to not throw up. <laughs> Oh God, it's been a while. And so I want to take it, be easy on myself, be uh, realistic about where I'm coming from and enjoy <clears throat> it while my mind flips out. I want you to get into a sumo squat position like this, right? <clears throat> and let the hips drop down. Feel that stretch in your, in your, um, in your groin here, right? Yeah. Get that energy going through the heels. All right, now what we're gonna do, put your feet straight ahead and we're gonna start exploiting the uh, the corners of this movement. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull my shoulders back by pulling my arms back like this, right? Just right here, right? We're gonna hit those the spinal erectors, all the muscles in the back that support the spine. We're gonna start firing them up as well. Cause as soon as the hips go back, everything starts to work. Now what I'm doing is I'm sitting into this position and I'm staying low, pushing, keeping the butt back and transi transitioning over to this side here, keeping the arms back still, right? Keep the tempo slow. We don't need to speed things up. And this is a really good way to exploit every joint angle. Get the but hips if you to start speed it up, up. Do you, can you get it over, over with quicker or? <clears throat> Not for what we're doing today. No, we're just gonna okay. keep it slow. Sit down now, sit down, get into the, yeah. Keeping your hips back, right? Exploiting that corner, those corners of the movement, getting everything fired up, all right? Nice and slow. Now come back to center. Now on the center part, arms are gonna go up, 
come up, push, actually put pressure through the feet and down and out like you're trying to spread the floor apart, right? Keep that tension. Come up to this point, drop back into it. Yep, come back up. And you should see that when I'm doing this, my hips are still coming back, right? I'm not sitting down with my torso um, straight up and down. Good, I want you to actively, while you're pushing your knees apart as much as you can, right? Put pressure through the feet or spread the floor, but keep that knee out. Come up with the arm, rotate the torso down, over, back, okay. come back in, and then push the knees apart, all right? And then keep other the arm? Knee, and then, yeah, keep the left knee out and come up. And then back around and do that one more time each side. Ooh, I'm sweating already. Exactly. That's the point. This is the warm up. All right. Last one. Oh, no. Yeah. Good. Now, plantar, plantar flex and dorsi flex while I have them extended like that. Oh, that's good. Oh. And then pull the knees in, roll to the other side, extend, pull the knees in, and just roll side to side a little bit, back and forth. You can feel that it's um, it's like a little pump and it uh, it pushes the blood in, in that lower spine. Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so enjoy this because now we begin the flow. No period jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what I want you to do is walk yourself back as far as you can, and then baby steps all the way forward. Really get the edges of that movement as far back as you can, and then as far forward as you can into that position without touching the ground. So back and forth. Bring that knee, squeeze, one, two, bring it back, all right? Take it outside more, so bring your knee like that. Yeah, one, two, push it back. Go to the other side. Good, that's it, you squeeze, yep, good. So we're doing isometrics, we're just slowing things down. We have two more each side. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so Sound what I want you to do, I want you to actually, without letting the hips move, this is where some of this um, core strength or anti-rotation um, and rotary stability. So what I want you to do is pick your, look, when you pay, take your arm here, you're gonna wanna compensate like this, right? Don't, keep your hips steady. <laughs> pick your arm up, pull it back, punch through the ground, come up, and then back down, and then switch, pull it up, Push through the ground, push yourself up. my mortality in a way that yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't in a while. Okay. So, come up slow, squeezing the butt and going out. Look, look at this. As far out as you can, touch, and then come back up and around. And just keeping the glute firing the whole time, right? We are exploiting and milking this movement for everything, right? Uh, and slow, uh, and firing, yeah. This, do you feel that? Woo! Yeah, yeah it feels right? good. So good, it's like, a, uh, it's one of the best, good. Beautiful, that was it. You feel that on the way down? Yeah. There, this side isn't so bad. You don't really feel as much, but this side, come up slow, 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 squeezing the butt at the top of those angles all the way through. Slow, controlled, touch it. 
down to the ground. Let's pull one leg up, hold, one, two, drop down. Back to the center, pull the heels towards your butt, create tension, back down, and then come up with the other leg, All right? Hold that top position, one, two, and back down. Back to the center, one more time. Control it, toes, reach. So much better, that's it. Don't need this anymore, huh? No. Okay. Bye. Pull the knee in, rotate the body through, back into the position one. How's the period? Haven't thought about it for a second. Okay. That's I good. haven't thought about it at all. I haven't thought about my period uh, at all. Uh, Sit back, sit back. Yeah, keep the leg up, leg up, leg up. Oh. You got, yeah, you got a lot going on there. That's it. Good. Back to neutral. Start position. Get your tension. Fire. Good, good. Hold. And now squat through it. Sit back, sit back. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's so good. That's perfect. This is it. You're gonna do this, and then we stretch and you're done. So try to get that hip rotated here. Yep, good. And then lean forward. Oh, and stretch your hip. <sighs> and breathe. <sighs> <sighs> Pretty good. Yeah. Sit back. Sit back, put, you, put your feet, yeah. Now, reach Sit out with your head. arms. Yep, reach out, and then just let your head and body fall. And each breath, try to get the body to just relax. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. I wanna say thank you to everybody who watched the video or got to the workout at this point. Um, it's unclear if anyone's actually gonna do the workout along with us or just enjoy watching me struggle. Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, that was the uh, workout video. Please put in the comments below if you have other thoughts, ideas for other videos. Jason and I are so open to like sharing our knowledge and what we know and where we're at. Bye.